Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. So today I finally want to do my May 2021 favorites. Um, there are a lot of goodies this, this month. Um, I have to say it's just been a lot of positive and good. So that's nice. Um, so let's get right into it, shall we? Um, okay, so in the month of May, quite a bit happened. I left my colleagues, the most amazing people I have ever worked with in my life, and words cannot describe how much I miss working with them. I have great people on my new side, but that bond is just something so incredibly special and that I have just pure gratitude for. So um, saying goodbye to them in the month of May was really, really hard. Uh, saying goodbye to them as colleagues, um, but I have them forever as friends. And so they had surprised me in the month of May with their visit and some flowers and some sweet treats. Um, and that is a highlight of my month of May, of being able to just savor every moment with them, of seeing them every day, you know, seeing them, even if it's through Zoom, but huge, huge, huge favorite for the month of May. Um, now I'm just going to get into like stuff. <laughs> okay. First favorite of the month of May is an Hermes blush. This one I did not actually show you guys. I had bought Rose Plume, which I loved the formula so much that I did end up picking up Rose Apricot. And I am just using this one literally every single day. I love it so, 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 so much. And it's like this, um, this like peachy tone and it's just glorious. <laughs> I just love it. So it's like a, like a peach. Like that. And I've been loving how it looks on my cheeks. So huge favorite. To go along with this blush, I've been using the travel brush that I purchased and it is like the most soft, wonderful feeling brush. I absolutely adore it. I've been using it every day, even if it's a travel brush. It just blends the blush into my skin so, so beautifully. I really recommend this this one. Um, a lot of, of the videos were on the full-sized Hermes brush and that one is of natural hair hairs but they said that it's not very very soft. I don't have that brush. This is the one I had wanted and I picked up but the, criti the critiques or videos that I've seen on the travel brush have been super positive and I a thousand percent agree. Now this brush being one of my favorites, I want to care for it. I'm super like careful with it, but it didn't come with a little case or anything. So I've been using one of my little Hermes um, lipstick cases and I just slide the brush right. I just dropped it, but it's okay. There's no damage, <laughs> but I had a mini heart attack. back on the shelf it goes. So yeah, what I was saying was I just like to keep my little brush in the little lipstick case and it is perfect. So just a little tip. Another makeup product that I've been loving in the month of May is my Victoria Beckham bronzer. I still can't get over how heavy this compact is. It is something. Um, so it's maybe not you know, ideal to carry with you because it is really, really heavy. 
but it's fabulous. I love the formula. I love the shades I chose. Um, so I got them in number one. And it, it is hard to close. You have to like really press and hear that click, but um, or else it's not, it's not properly. So I've been applying this compact with my Sephora Pro Blush Brush in number 93. And it's so soft. I just love how it feels. And it just, you can really use the angle and really sculpt and get that like definition that you want with your bronzer. So winning combo for me. Um, one last makeup product and then I'm moving on. <laughs> So the month of May brought us here a lot of heat, um, heat that we're not necessarily used to in the month of May. It is the kind of heat that we get in July, August, but for May it was quite early and it's still really, really hot and humid today. But one savior for me because I get super, super oily throughout the day, especially when it's hot. and so my La Mer uh, powder has been wonderful for that. So it's just a pressed powder in this little compact. Comes with a little sponge. Okay, I have it in number light 12. And it's just great to touch up. I just tap it on where I have some, you know, shine throughout the day and it mattifies it just kind of takes away that, you know, excess oil. And I, I love it. Plus I'm crazy about the smell of this. Every time I use it, I'm like, it's just, I really enjoy the smell of La Mer products. Okay, one thing I'm obsessed with, <laughs> obsessed, is this that I found at the grocery store. It's by Starbucks, so that's in French and English. Coffee enhancer uh, with the cinnamon dolce latte flavoring. And it's just this nice like cream that you put in your coffee or your tea and it just gives that delicious, you know, very light, sweet taste. Um, my dad who never put sweet or sugar in his coffee ever, he's always been milk. Uh, he came over the other night. I put some of this in his coffee because I was actually out of milk and He was like, oh my goodness. What did you put in my coffee? This is amazing and he really really enjoyed it So if you like just a hint of sweet, but not too much This could be a really really good option for you um, Here in Quebec. I've seen this um, Walmart IGA Maxi um, it's in pretty much every grocery store. Yeah. One is in this beautiful bag. So this is one of my finds from the month of May. My vintage Prada Cleo in this black nylon with the hot pink interior. So right now I have it stuffed with air paper. There's a nice magnetic snap closure and this nice shoulder length strap. And it's just wonderful. No, you can't carry a ton, but that's not the point with this bag. Um, I think it's a great going out bag and I've really been enjoying it. Now that I'm leaving, you know, to go out to work, I'm not carrying this, this is not my work bag but it will definitely be my date night bag. And speaking of date nights, now this is a favorite of May, huge favorite of May, is they took away the curfew. That's awesome. So just at the end of May, they've taken away the curfew. So we're not rushed or nervous about being at home by nine o'clock or 8.30, depending on where we are. <laughs> it's so nice. Uh, yeah, that's great to be able to just take walks later, to be able to 
see some friends and family and yeah, just not be rushed by time. And that's actually something that's coming up in June and it will be in my favorites of June is that they're starting to, in June they're gonna be opening restaurants and businesses again. So we're gonna, we're gonna be able to have a date night be able to reserve a terrasse and I'll be carrying this for that. Okay, two more favorites. So one is a TV movie um, and it is on Disney Plus and it is called Cruella. You guys have to watch that movie with Emma Stone, Emma Thompson, two awesome Emmas in this movie and it is fabulous. It is so good. Definitely one of my top favorite real life Disney movies. And it's so good because yes, we yeah, you know, associate Cruella de Vil to 101 Dalmatians, but this movie is really all about who Cruella is, why Cruella is how we know her, the story behind the character. It's so good. It is so good. I absolutely loved it. So check it out if you haven't yet because it's worth watching. It really is. And then last favorite for the month of May um, are these adorable kids that I found on Poshmark, brand new. And they're, they're fun because they're blue jean with white hearts. They came with these um, off-white shoelaces and they came with and they came with uh, navy blue shoelaces. And these are um, the Taylor Swift collection. So I don't know from what year, I have no clue, but I saw them on Poshmark in my size, brand new, and I just fell in love with them. I mean guys me and hearts right so the hearts are like embroidered they're so pretty i love them and they're super cute because they came with um this little guitar pick was attached to them with taylor swift so i thought that was super adorable super super adorable i love taylor swift that's not why i bought the shoes i just bought the shoes because i wanted kids and i loved loved these are they not me so there you have it. Those are my May 2021 favorites. Let me know what you think. What are any favorites of yours for the month of May? And on that note, I wish you guys well. I will see you guys very, very soon.